This is the Source Audio Collider, and it's a delay and reverb all in one box. They took the best of their delays and reverbs from their standalone pedals and put it into this awesome pedal which combines the two, um, hence the name Collider. It's one of the best things to marry these two effects together because they are used very often together and why not have them all in one box? So to easily understand, um, we have this sort of yin yang uh, on the left to the green. We have our delays on the right. We have our reverbs and we have a little toggle switch here, which we can toggle uh, what controls we're going to be doing for the delay or for the reverb. And we can in the middle position lock the control so we don't turn anything and nothing will happen. So um, two foot switches here. This pedal is stereo in stereo out. So we have input one, two, output one, two, and we have MIDI capability on this pedal. And we have two switches here. So this one's for the delay. We can toggle the reverb on off and the delay on off independently. And also we can uh, switch the order so we can do delay into reverb or reverb into delay. Uh, by default, it's delay into reverb, and that's how most people like it, and that's how I like it. And you can also do uh, set it up as parallel or series. So parallel, you can split the delay and reverb. The signal goes to each effect and then blends it together. Or as right now, it's in series, which is going into one effect and then into the other. So going into the delay, and then the delays are being sent into the reverb. And um, we have tap tempo here. And uh, when we turn on the effect and we can tap in our tempo or we can plug in an external tap tempo device. And then also we can do subdivisions here. We got uh, several subdivision options and the controls are basic. So we have, uh, we have to be careful what setting we're on um, if we go to the delay setting, we're controlling the delay time, we're controlling delay mix, choosing our delay type, feedback, and the tone um, for the delay and the reverb remains about the same for all functions, but the control one and two changes based on what uh, effect we're controlling, which uh, either the reverb um, or either the delays. So. Uh, a lot of stuff packed into this pedal and we can save four presets and we can um, also uh, recall them as well. So let's hear more things uh, that this pedal can do. Um, you guys probably have heard the individual effects. So this uh, here we can blend them together and create even bigger spaces. And on the reverb also when we hold down the foot switch, it creates this big swell. Um, so let's check it out playing on the telly going into the overdrive and into the collider and into a Vox AC30.
Thank mm-hmm. you.